Hi, this video will cover QuickBooks suppliers. Click on Integrations, Sync with Web Connector, go ahead and choose Suppliers. Be sure to pull up our online guide. Go to Support, click on the Learning Center, click on the Instructions tab, and choose the guide for online. Scroll to the Suppliers section. So in QuickBooks Online, you can go to Expenses, Vendors to find your current supplier list. So here under Expenses, click on Vendors. Here's your current list. On First Sync, you are going to be prompted, the same way as clients, to go ahead and match your suppliers. So under Suppliers, prepare the supplier sync. It'll prompt you have unmatched suppliers. We're going to go ahead and close the modal. Click on Match Suppliers. So one new one here did pull through. You can choose to run auto match to auto automatically match the entire list. Or if you wanted to see what if this is new, you can always click on match to see if it's going to return a result. So on QuickBooks, this is how the record exists. You can select a Project 360 supplier to match. So this Addison Inc, we know here it's going to match to this Addison Inc in Project 360. So we're going to go ahead and confirm. So that has been matched. So now that's complete. Go back under the guide. So after that match process is complete, on your next sync, the Project 360 suppliers that do not exist in QuickBooks will be pushed up to your QuickBooks vendor list. You will not have to match these new records. These will auto match for you. So going back into Project 360, we're going to go ahead and try again. We're going to try for the suppliers. Prepare the supplier sync. And as you can see here, it went ahead and added one new supplier and updated 70 suppliers that already existed. So we're going to go ahead and click on sync. And once this process is out, that one supplier is going to get added and those 70 that already been matched previously will get updated. That covers QuickBooks suppliers.